Hi, this is Kiddo Productions and today I'll be showing you how to make a cartoon in Photoshop CS6. So the first thing you want to do is open up your image and make a new layer. Then select the line tool and make sure your color of the line is black unless you want otherwise different. Then what you do is change the weight of, of the line, but it's up to you how thin or thick you want it. I'm just going to make mine 3.5, just a bit thicker. But as, as I said, it's up to you how thick you want it. So what you want to do next is outline the person. So what you're going to do is grab the line tool and then just start outlining. I'm going to start with the nose. Zoom in as close as you can. And then just make more strokes and more as more of them as you can. Because the more strokes you got and the more short they are, the more detailed your picture is going to look like and the better it's going to be. But I might rush this as this is a tutorial and I only got 10 minutes because of the YouTube time restrictions. So I might skip one of them as well. But what you want to do is just outline it. And of course the more time you spend on it, the better it's going to look. If you make a mistake, you can just click delete, and that way, delete the line you're on. And you, if you keep pressing it, it will delete as well. Anyway, so you just keep doing that all the way through. Okay, so here I am. I almost finished aligning the picture. So what I'm going to do next is going to do is facial hair. But for that, I'm, I decided to do the lines thinner. So what I do is I go to weight. I highlight the numbers, delete them, and enter what I want. So I'm going to do two millimeters. And then you start aligning again. You don't have to do this. This is just up to you. I really like it, it's your own style. Anyway, so what you do is continue outlining the picture. Okay, so here I am, finished outlining the picture, and the next step is going to be to merge them, all the lines together on one layer. So, what you're going to do is scroll down to the original picture, and then right, I mean hide the layer, and then make a new one, right click on it, and then click on merge visible. This way you got all your lines on one layer. And if you click you can see what you got. Okay, I'm gonna make another layer. This one's gonna be for the color. 
can rename them all. This one's gonna be outline. This one's gonna be color, red. And this one's just light. I don't know, original or something. So you don't, you don't get confused between layers as you work. So if you make the mistake I'm going to show you how to do it, the delete it. So you click on the outline, you click on the rubber, and this way you can delete it. As you can see right now, you just brush along the line and deletes it. And then you can redraw it again and merge it with the same layer if you made any mistakes. This is how you would fix it. Okay, so what we're going to do next is going to start coloring the picture. Uh, what you want to do is select the brush and the layer you want to color in. And this, in this case, it's going to be the coloring layer. And you're using the brush, you just want to start brushing it along the lines. What you also want to make sure is that the layers are in the right order, like shown in the picture. You want outline to be on the top and the coloring to be in the middle. That way you won't be going over the lines. They'll be under. But you still have to be careful not to go outside too much. And what you want to do is just carry on coloring it in. I'm going to skip this. Okay, so here I'm going to show you a much faster way to color in your picture. But it's only going to work if your lines are totally closed. So what you want to do is select the outline layer and choose the wonder tool, magic wand, and select uh, the parts you want to color in. Select multiple ones, you have to click shift. What you do next is select the brush and just start brushing it. This way it's much easier and faster. But as I said, this, your layer has to be, I mean, your lines have to be closed to do that. Another thing, you have to make sure you color in on the coloring layer. As you can see, I made a mistake. I done colored in on the outline layer. So once you select it, I wanted to, you have to go back on the coloring area and then paint it there. The tutorial will be continued in part 2.